Hey everyone, what's up? Mirai here with an update on the anti-aliasing debacle in World of Warcraft's next expansion, Warlords of Draenor. Now the last video got a good bit of exposure and I thank everyone for that, but some things have changed since then and I just wanted to do a quick follow-up video on all of this. But if I learned anything from the last video, it's examples first and talking later. So I'll start this off on the Great Wall and Kunlai Summit near the Horde PvP vendors, and I'm going to point out the areas of the scene that are affected the most. So along the edges of this structure, the outside, the inside, things like the doorway, also these window looking things, the top roof area, and the left and right sides of the wall itself. These are heavily aliased areas, and this effect is typically referred to as crawling, where it looks like the edges of the textures are crawling in one direction or the other. Now again, aliasing is happening on everything throughout this entire scene, but it's unlikely that YouTube will allow everyone to see that. So now that we're clear on what we're looking at in this scene, let me start it over. Alright, so there's no anti-aliasing being applied at the moment, but here's what the new CMAA technology looks like. You can see that some of the small stuff gets cleaned up, but it, it definitely leaves behind a good bit of aliasing when in motion. However, Here's what the scene looks like with 4x sparse grid super sampling enabled. Quite the difference, quite the difference. Again, no AA, CMAA, and SGSSAA. All right, so for the next example, we're back out in Venture Bay, but for something besides the dock. Now this example is meant to show off what's referred to as shimmering. If you look at the dark trees on the light background, there should be no doubt that there is a ton of aliasing, which in my opinion, gives a very unnatural look and it looks as if the trees are shimmering. Now, of course, we can get into an argument about how the light is hitting the trees or the leaves might be moving in the wind, but this happens on all trees throughout the entire game, whether they have leaves or whether a light source is directly on them. It also doesn't happen unless you're in motion. So like last time, I'll start this over, but I'm not going to talk over it. Just listen to the relaxing audio and follow the color-coded labels. Okay, so the third and fourth examples are out here in the new, old version of Nagrand, or Nagrand, however you choose to pronounce it. Now in the original video, I wasn't able to do any comparisons in Draenor because we weren't able to enable anti-aliasing through third-party tools with the new rendering engine at that time. But that has since changed, and more information on that near the end of this video. It's an incentive to keep watching if you're interested. Anyway, I thought that this gate was a great example because not only is the gate and the environment around it aliased, but the NPCs show a great deal of aliasing as well, and it really makes for a nice side-by-side -side comparison. Now, this example shows that regardless of whether it's Northrend or Draenor, you know, whether it's old technology or brand spanking new technology, that shimmering in the trees and the foliage is still present, and CMAA barely helps when it comes to any of this. And for the fifth and final example, we're still in Draenor, out in Talador at Auchendoon. And I feel the need to apologize because I did use stairs as an example in the last video, but it seemed like there were still some people who didn't really see the aliasing. I don't know. So I'm revisiting the stairs now that I have the capability to do split screen comparisons. However, the stairs do a phenomenal job at showing what texture crawling really looks like. Now, if you're interested in bringing back multi-sampling to Warlords of Draenor, or even trying something new like this fancy sparse grid super sampling, then this next part is for you. However, there's, there's one catch, and that's that you need to have an NVIDIA GPU. 
at least for what I'm about to show you. Unfortunately, I'm not familiar with the third-party tools that AMD GPUs have available, and personally, I haven't owned an AMD GPU in over a decade. I hate to say it, but you AMD guys might be out of luck. So first, you'll need a program called NVIDIA Inspector. It's a well-known tool, and it's been around for quite some time, and it allows regular everyday computer users, like you and I, to enable all kinds of crazy stuff at the driver level, one of them being multi-sampling. Now, I've personally been using it with World of Warcraft for about five years, and I mentioned in the first video that it had stopped working with the Warlords beta. Whether Blizzard fixed this, or NVIDIA fixed this, or both Blizzard and NVIDIA combined their powers to fix this, we may never know. But it's working again, and that's all we care about. So once you've got the program downloaded and running, here's what you need to know. First, click on the icon that looks like a screwdriver and a wrench in the shape of an X. That will bring up the profile settings. On this screen, you want to first locate the World of Warcraft profile in the top dropdown. Then set the anti-aliasing compatibility flag to what's shown. 1, 2, C1 should be the last four flags in the value. Do not mistake this setting ID for the DirectX 11 one right above it. We do not have access to DirectX 11 bits like we do for DirectX 9 until NVIDIA fixes that, which will probably be never. So until then, the game client must be running in DirectX 9 for any of these settings to work. I'll remind you of this again later in the video. Go ahead and move down to the anti-aliasing section and start by setting the behavior flags to none. Then anti-aliasing mode to override, not enhance, override. After that, you're all set to choose the desired level of anti-aliasing and, if you want, transparency supersampling. And here are some examples of those. Now, I've highlighted the ones that I thought people might be interested in using, but technically, you can attempt to use any setting in that long list of options if you're feeling adventurous. The multi-sampling examples will return the game to its former pre-Warlords glory. 2X, 4X, and 8XQ are the same as MSAA, 2X, 4X, and 8X as we have had in the past. The sparse grid super sampling, or SGSSAA, settings are what you saw earlier in this video, and these are pretty much reserved for people with a fairly powerful system. And then there are the raw super sampling options, which I had shown in the prior video. However, since the rendering engine has changed and Blizzard seems to have changed some of the things in the pipeline, as of right now, super sampling does not work with shadows. It now works with SSAO, but it doesn't work with shadows. So your shadows will need to be turned down to the lowest setting in order to use SSAA in Warlords of Draenor. All right, so moving right along to the FAQ, because I know some people are going to have questions or concerns. So is this a hack? Will I get banned? I heard that my uncle's neighbor's daughter dated someone who got banned for using a third-party program. No, this is not a game hack. You are not going to get banned for doing this. And if you don't believe me, well, then I suggest you do your own research on the matter. Is this going to break my hardware? No, your hardware is not going to break as a result from forcing on anti-aliasing through the driver. If you successfully enable anti-aliasing through the driver and your hardware breaks shortly after, then it was probably on its way out the door anyway. NVIDIA Inspector does, in fact, have an overclocking section in the program, but enabling anti-aliasing does not overclock or overvolt your computer hardware in any way, nor does it push it beyond its factory limits. I just logged in and the game is incredibly blurry. What's the deal? The deal is that the full screen glow effect is enabled, and I highly recommend that you disable it with the FFX glow console variable. And currently, there is also a bug with the CVAR as well, where it will continue to re-enable itself upon logging into a character or after reloading your UI. What's that, Mirai? FFX Glow is back? You bet your sweet ass it's back. Blizzard heard our cries and re-implemented FFX Glow as a console variable once again. The downside is that, as of right now, FFX Glow currently controls every single FFX effect there is in the game. That includes the FFX Death effect, the FFX Netherworld effect, as well as the FFX Special effect. They're now all tied to FFX Glow. So if you turn that off, you lose all of these other effects. But if you leave it on, you have blurry anti-aliasing. Sometimes you gotta pick your battles. The upside is that the full screen glow effect is no longer tied to FXAA or CMAA if you'd rather use those instead. Go ahead, test it out for yourself. 
I enabled anti-aliasing like you showed, but I'm getting terrible frame rates. What am I doing wrong? Well, enabling any sort of anti-aliasing is going to tax your hardware more than if you weren't using it, especially if you were trying to use something like SGSSAA or SSAA. But with that said, Blizzard recently posted a tech blog about how they moved a bunch of game stuff off of the CPU and onto the GPU. So Warlords of Draenor is already going to push your GPU more than it was being pushed in Mist of Pandaria. And if you add in the fact that you're forcing out anti-aliasing through the driver, well, that's just a whole lot of extra stuff that your GPU has to do now. And if you don't have a fairly powerful system, then you might not be getting the FPS that you want. Ultimately, forcing on anti-aliasing through the driver is not the most efficient way to go about it. And if Blizzard implemented their own anti-aliasing on their end, you know, something better than CMAA, they'd have full control over it and likely be able to make it much more efficient for everyone to use. Even you AMD users, if you're still watching. Do I have to use NVIDIA Inspector? Can't I just use NVIDIA's built-in control panel? No, you cannot currently use the NVIDIA control panel to adjust these settings because this method requires a compatibility flag to be set, something that cannot be set via the GPU's control panel. If you attempt to force anti-aliasing through the NVIDIA control panel, your game will look something like this. This isn't working. Where can I get help? Well, assuming you have an NVIDIA GPU, fairly up-to-date drivers, and are following what I showed earlier in the video to the T, the only thing left to check is that the game is running in DirectX 9. If you were running DirectX 11 and you changed it to DirectX 9, you will need to restart your game client before the change takes effect. Other than that, Blizzard will give you zero support on this matter because this isn't their program and they don't support forcing on anti-aliasing at the driver level. However, another outlet for support would be the Guru 3D forums, where there is an entire subforum of community members dedicated to high quality anti aliasing using third party tools like NVIDIA Inspector. Well, that's it. But before I check out, I'd like to say that I give no guarantee that anything shown in this video will work in six months, three months, next month, or even next week. You know, these things can change and. That was proven when the Warlords beta was first released with a new rendering engine and NVIDIA Inspector didn't work. I mean, that's one of the things that motivated me to create the first video. So if you're watching this and it's the year 2022 and this method doesn't work anymore, I'm sorry. Anyway, thanks for watching everyone. Mirai out.